Brookday Hawa, Brookday was shy, Brookday Hawa, Brookday was shy, Kahalai Wahua, Al Haina Yahua, Bahashim Yao Shai, Bashim Kakudash, giving all praises to our power, Yahua, Bashim Yao Shai, Bashim Kakudash, Yahua means he is, he exists, or he to be. It's the Most High's name in the Paleo Hebrew. Bashim is in the name, Yahweh Shai is the only God and Son of the Heavenly Father whom the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ. His true name is Yahweh Shai, which means He the Deliverer. The Deliverer for whom? The nation of Israel. The elect starting with first on this side, which will be redeemed by back and being exempt from the judgment which is upon us. The Lord will be merciful upon them, though they will be scarcely saved. And if they are to die, their works do follow them. Of course, giving double honors to our apostles and elders of Great Millstone, who well, peace and salutation to the elect, 144,000 prophets, which are all men, and the rest of the one-third, which are no prophets but the believers, who the Lord will have mercy upon too. Shemya Mafa, my name is Mafa from the Great Millstone Plain Tables Camp, located here in the city of Philadelphia. Abawa, I am Lamadi Ma'it. Come with a lesson, or we lesson. Okay, as it says here, bank teller blocks black, so-called black, right? Uh, which has a negative connotation to it. Okay, the scriptures talk about how you know these curses would be applying us for our, because of our disobedience and us being called by the word black, uh, which there are 12 tribes of Israel. And uh, the so-called Negro is what they call the so-called, is the black man, uh, colored, but uh, he's really the Judite, the Judah. All right, uh, Yehawada, which means the Most High thinks. Okay, the same tribe that our Lord came out of is uh, the tribe of Judah, okay? And um, we recall these different bywords amongst these heathen. Deuteronomy 28, 37, that, And thou shalt become an astonishment and a proverb and a byword among all nations, which the, whether the Lord shall lead thee, and the Lord he sent us off across the four winds. Okay? This is Job chapter 17 and 6. is that he had made me... Also a byword of the people in a four time I was a tabret, you know, and entertainment, okay? Uh, you know, our people are set as entertainment, you know, for musical purposes, uh, entertainment, uh, amusement, okay, a mocking, okay, because byword is uh, here from a shawl, which is a satire, okay, uh, Going into the word for satire, it means a use of humor, irony, and exaggeration to ridicule, expose, or criticize people's uh, stupidity or vices, particularly in the context of contemporary politics and topical issues. Okay, and um, goes into a mockery, a parody. Okay, and um, that's exactly what we have been, okay, uh, to the nations, a byword. Uh, there's a scripture that talk about this. Now I have become uh, a song. This is Job chapter 30 and 9. It says, and now I am their song. And I am their byword. They abhor me. They flee far from me. And spare not to spit in my face. And this is how we feel as Israelites. Okay. From so-called Negro on down to so-called Mexicans. All 12 tribes. Both kingdoms. Southern and Northern. Southern kingdom. So-called Negro. So-called West Indian and Haitian. Judah, Benjamin and Levi. So called uh, Puerto Ricans are Ephraim and the leaders of the uh, Northern Kingdom going on down to uh, you have, of course, your Cubans and rather uh, different South and Central Americans, 
okay as well as um uh iscarites uh but yeah so-called negroes are teams the americans are the israelites you can go into the 12 tribes chart cubans okay as well uh the israelites hebrew israelites the lord's chosen people that fit these curses okay this is how exactly she felt so she was blocked this particular woman businesswoman blocked from withdrawing from her own account the TD teller told Gwen Samuels and she didn't feel comfortable giving her the money okay the money is not even giving it as possession possessive of her own money because that's we don't really own anything on this side okay and the scriptures talk about how curse shall be the basket in our store in our financial situation and all the way down to the possessors of the money these bankers which ultimately are the elite okay uh, they have of course the various bank branches uh, central banks they set within these uh various uh countries but they own everything the wealth and you know the everything it says a, a Israelite woman that's what particularly she would be has accused her bank for racist practices okay which racist goes into being for their people okay they're advocates for their own people the, the people being Edomites particularly which is our main enemy okay for the nation of Israel after she requests to withdraw money from her account and was denied Business owner Gwen Samuels, who has been a customer of TD Bank for over 16 years, pretty much about the same amount of time as myself, uh, if not even longer. Um, no, I've, I, uh, I have an account actually with this uh, bank, particularly here. Uh, I believe it's uh, based uh, particularly in Canada, but they have other branches, you know, all over. But, you know, you can look into their whole history. I believe formerly, uh, I remember it was Commerce Bank. But uh, it says said that the teller at this uh, particular branch, Southington, Connecticut location, told her she didn't feel comfortable giving Samuel her own money. Okay. I go inside. I had my TD Bank card and my license. Samuel recounted the incident to... The news which is Fox 61 they were cordial and I'm not even gonna say they were rude and I see her over there and I was like oh she looks like she's going to my account okay she continued maybe that's just the policy Samuel was requesting to withdraw just over a thousand dollars so she could pay a vendor for her business the Connecticut Parents Reunion Educational Advocacy Group. Whoever, after uh, several minutes of waiting, the teller returned and denied her request. She hands her, me my license and says, I don't feel comfortable giving you the money. Samuel said, I got confused. So I said, you don't feel comfortable giving me the money? She said, well, you just deposited the check yesterday. Samuel explained to the teller that the check already cleared, which she verified online, particularly probably online banking, mobile banking, that is. Uh, so she said, yeah, it was clear. The money is available. I just don't feel comfortable giving it to you. Okay. Samuel it continued feeling embarrassed. Samuel left. The bank to withdraw the maximum amount of money from the ATM money uh, machine outside, which most likely could be uh, six hundred dollars. Um, you know, the ATM is not going to ask you are going to look at your race or anything like that. It's just going to withdraw the money. OK, you put in your car, you put in your pen to authenticate. Bam, money comes out. But the only thing is you have. Um. A, a, a maximum amount that you can withdraw from the uh, the 
the actual ATM. But, you know, you can, of course, do digital payments and transfer money and, uh, you know, and make payments without physical cash. <laughs> you know, just to let you know. But some people, of course, do this, you know, still do things with physical cash. You know, and this uh, this discourage you from, you know, going into the bank branches, I must note, especially dealing with ease. I can tell you, me personally, I've already been through this, um, uh, you know, a couple of times. I've, you know, I've been with through this, um, um, I believe, recently upon moving to my new residence, uh, this this uh, particular branch that I went to down the road from me, um, they, uh, you know, did the same thing, kind of like look you up and down and like you'll just go in there with the, you know, withdrawal from your account slip, it's already filled out, you get, hand them your ID, I don't hand them my ATM card, I just hand them my ID, uh, you know, and then you know, you'll wait, you know, for them to, you know, give you the money. They might ask you, how would you like the money uh, given to you? Of course, it's like, you. and then, um, you know, I go about my way, but y y literally, I felt like eyes were looked up and down upon me and, you know, trying to figure me out, like, oh, let's see, uh, who's this guy? I believe also happened to me at another branch, a branch uh, even down the road. Um, it was another newer branch that was open. Uh, it's not in a that of a great neighborhood. It was on a boulevard on a main expressway, motorway, and um, you know the same thing happened. And it, you know, I remember. I went to another branch, which we're going to finish reading this uh, account this, uh, this account from this woman, and I'll finish my testimony. She said, uh, I was so hurt, I didn't want to start crying. So she said "Fox uh, to Fox, calling it the humanizing, devaluing experience. Uh, Samuel went to a different TD branch and was able to withdraw money without a problem. And... Um, you know, say for me, for example, I uh, it withdraw a significant amount of money, which this ain't really that much. It, just taking out grands ain't nothing. I mean, they, you know, you, how how can you have trouble just withdrawing a couple of dollars, like like grands and such? I mean, a couple of dollars, and, and it's all about us just being Israelites and stuff, and how these curses are placed upon us. Okay, they look at us as uh, as black, literally, like void of light, evil. You know, dark, you know, nothing of good, okay, L. Um, so, you know, they look in the account, and they, they may see some money, and they just think of it as if uh, you've done some some wrong, or you're, you, you've, uh, uh, you know, you're up to some type of negativity or something, even though the money has been uh, righteously gotten, you know, you see it deposited by, a particular uh, job or, you know, maybe transfer to you by, uh, you know, whatever, you know, legit, um, you know, clientele, etc. You know, but you're still looked at negatively, okay, just based upon you being a Israelite, okay. And this is all spiritual. If you can receive it, it's beyond the carnality. Though the carnality is heavy with Esau, Edom, and the nations, because they are carnal, but it's spiritual, okay, as well, okay. I go back to the curses. Go back to the hatred between uh, Esau, all right, uh, to his brother Jacob, all right, which we are Jacob, Israel, all right. Esau, Edom is uh, of course uh, who calls himself to be pure or wheat, but isn't he? Okay, who's actually Adawam, which is red. Okay, who has the current dominion of the earth, so he's going to do these evil and wicked practices. Okay, hold up your money and then give you a, a issue, you know, with withdrawing it. But then if you go to another branch, which say, that, for example, me, I went down to the city center, you know, or center city, as we'll say in America. Um, and uh, I went to a branch and just got it, like, I got a couple grand 
like no problem just to get I believe I was trying to buy like a camera or something like that I forget what it was um something like that a camera or something of electronics or something of that nature and I got the money I believe it was like an Ephraimite that did it for me uh yeah all right, some of a Latin tribe I believe it's probably Ephraimite mostly Ephraimites are here in Philadelphia and I actually even said to him I said I ain't get no trouble you know I went to another uh, branch in, you know, my home branch, you know, I, you know, in the neighborhood I used to live in and such. And I got, you know, a wait around. They actually had asked me, they had to authorize it with a manager. Okay. I was sitting there at the, um, you know, at the counter, you know, with the teller for quite a bit over 15 minutes and such. But in, in, this was just, I think it was like three G's or something like that at the time. It was, it was nothing, you know, and, um, you know, not to say I'm rich or anything, but, you know, Jake, 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 some Jakes are economists here, you know, uh, you know, we are household managers, you know, I mean, we have managed the money you know, we have in, and, you know, they just used to us just blowing the money, you know, uh, or whatever, but they holding the money, and they do all sorts of things with this money, and I mean, it should be no problem with just getting the money that y'all holding <laughs> for me. You know, when y'all set up a system, a pet, in which we have to put, you know, receive money uh, in a digital form, et cetera, direct deposit. Um, you want, you know, they want to know money that everybody got, you know. But, yeah, so I, I remember the Ephraimite, going back to the story, the Ephraimite, who was the bank teller at this other branch in the city center, center city in Philadelphia here, he actually told me, he's like, yeah, we're the uh, main bench here in Philadelphia. Something of that nature, he had told me. And he said that, we, you know, we go through many different transactions. You know, this is the best, has the best customer service or something of that nature, he said. Um, and I was just like, thanks, man. I'll probably come to that back to y'all, you, know, um, you know, for the future. I'll keep that noted. You know, because these different dang, no, they, these different experiences in which we do go through are pretty, uh, you know, uh, notable in our mind nightmares uh traumatizing uh you know but after of course getting the understanding through the spirit and power y'all by shimmy shy through the words that are written we are no more confused or lost okay the lord came for those that are lost okay you have it where protesters are assembled outside of this particular location in connecticut at the southington location on that was march the 15th after hearing about this experience in response, the issue bank issued the following statement to Fox at TD Bank. We proud they gonna give them this generic, always these generic PR answers. Okay, we proudly are serve diverse communities and customers and do not discriminate in the services. I, I mean, did you just hear what happened? And I love when these major corporations give you this this generic. Um, lie of a of a statement, you know. We provide our products. Uh, we so they said they do not discriminate. We provide our products. We offer. We have a constructive conversation. We've had a constructive conversation with Miss Samuels to address her concerns. You know that's all they look at it as. You know, light concern. We they'll talk about it, but. You know, really, the, they'll just say they sorry and just keep pushing off and keep doing what they continue to do. And we apologize for our experience at the Queen Street store, in which did not meet our ex, her expectation or ours. We listened, learned, and assured her that we will do a better job. They always say that a better job uh, in the future at the store where we were working with stats to ensure consistent procedures and clear so they do know this stuff goes on and communication when customers visit our store for bank transaction the statement continued we value her relationship with TD uh, meaning their money <laughs> TD and uh, hope to continue to serve her in the future you know most people from this they want to leave banks so man Samuel reportedly informed uh, state and federal lawmakers about her experience at the bank uh and that was it um i believe it might have been said in one of these articles i might have seen about going to possibly uh as you see here jesse williams say so-called 
black people will have liberation banking in with uh, Greenwood, you know, free banking. You know, maybe some so-called black on blank or something of that nature. But like I said, Esau owns everything anyway, so it's not truly that. But hey, it is what it is. Um, wh why that's in terms of that way to seek love. But, you know, uh, I just want to bring that out through the spirit. And um, I got maybe, oh, I got like a scripture. It was uh, the book of Isaiah 30. This is Isaiah chapter, where is it at? Supposed to be on deck. Should have been on deck. I don't know what's going on. Isaiah 33, maybe. This is Isaiah 33 and 1. Judgment of the Most High is the title. <laughs> it says, Woe, meaning destruction to thee that spoilest, and thou was not spoiled. Spoilest, should, should died, which goes into the deal violently, despoil, ruin, destroy. Okay? We've been assaulted. We've been destroyed East by Esau, Edom, the rest of the heathen as well. Okay. And not and that was not spoiled. And there was treacherously, and they dealt not treacherously. Now you have it. This Jake particularly, but God is the Hebrew for for treacherously, which is to act treacherously, faithlessly, or deceitful, offend. And that's how, of course, Esau, Edom deals with our people. You know, very deceitful. You know what I mean? They could be offended and still uh, act as if they are no. You know, that's that witchcraft. Okay? Even when Jacob be uh, very uh, cordial, be very uh, even nice, even though they know, which is really mean foolish. Even though Jake know they didn't done right. Don't, done wrong, slack you. Or unjust, all right? Ah, uh, Yashar. La uh, uh, Yashar mean not right. Okay? It says, yeah, and they dealt not treacherously with thee. When thou shalt cease to spoil, thou shalt be spoiled. And when thou shalt make a full a end to the deal treacherously, or deal treacherously, they shall be they they shall deal treacherously with thee. That's gonna come, of course, when this kingdom is established. When Yahweh shall come back in to bring that. Complete recompense for the wrong that has been done to the nation of Israel, starting with the elect. Okay. Um, let me see if I got one other scripture. Sirach 29, let me see if I can get something in there. Sirach to Rock 29, which deals a lot with uh, finances or surety. As surety goes into uh, a pledge or promise made to secure against loss, damage, security. One who has contracted to be responsible for another, especially one who assumes responsibilities or debts. Event of another party's default, right? You know, pretty much... Somebody else is uh, failing. It's like kind of like uh, having a co, co signer, all right. But uh, you know, you can read, of course, Surat twenty nine for it. But uh, I'm gonna go just to that right now. This is one of them words. You know, I'm going over that word because it's one of the words that I usually see, and um, sometimes I struggle to remember the definition. So you know, of course, going into this by repetition will ensure that I, uh, you know, become more acquainted with the word, okay? So, this is uh, the book of Sirach, chapter 29, and I'm going to go to verse 7. Many, therefore, therefore, have refused to lend of other men's ill-doing, fearing to be defrauded, Okay, 
We know, you know, we know all know about this, you know, especially us as uh, Jake. You know, uh, you know, you might lend some bread to, you know, somebody, and then they don't pay you back. So, you know, many refuse to lend based on the ill, the evil doing. You know, because they got deal me dirty, not paying me back. All right, which you know, you have uh, righteous reasons for not, you know, being able to pay back. You know, you have uh, I think like jubilees, and you, you know, you can read uh, uh, about that. You know, as such. But anyway. It says, "Yet have thou patience with a and uh, with a poor man." And there's where wait, there's also sloggy. There's actual, um, you know, dealings with, you know, even that person being able to know, know knowledge, and knowing how to pay that person back. And you know, if they aren't able to pay, you know, how to reason and deal, you know, righteously in that with that situation. The scriptures got all that knowledge within it. It says, "Yet have thou patience with a poor man." Poor in a poor estate, which we are, and delay not to show him mercy. Okay, you know, meaning to suffer, yet have thou sufferance with the man in a poor estate. Delay not to show him mercy. You know, there be it may be a genuine reason, you know, why you may not, uh, why you may have to, you know, just bear with, you know, the you know particular brother or something may not be to pay you, you know, expedient, you know, quickly or something. All right. It says, help the poor. For for the commandment's sake, and turn him not away because of his poverty. Okay, like I said, there's righteous commandments. There's righteous. There's commandments written in the scriptures of how to deal with this. You know what I mean? But like I said, Esau put all of these different commandments behind him. Cast the word of the Lord behind. Him. So he does treacherously. He does the opposite. Okay. And uh. Thus, that's why he's going to receive the judgment, okay, for all the wrong that has he has been done. I'm going to get uh, Sirach since it just came up. Did the Spirit Sirach chapter uh, either 10 or 11? I got to remember in verse 8. And it reads, Because of unrighteous dealings, Injuries and riches got by deceit, because we know that they steal and rob the th as a thief everything from us. We work and build up this kingdom. We are the most major consumers. Period. The kingdom is translated from one people to another. The kingdom is in the hand of the wicked right now, you know. But we are at the end of the Gentiles, you know, ruling, which the Edomites right now. Are set up ruling, okay. So we gonna rule, all right. And this is all gonna be put out, you know. These ill doings, you know, this bat, this fractional reserve banking, this, this lies, this, this, it's just death. And sorrow will be passed. It will come to pass, and our tears will be wiped away. By, of course, your howl by Shimei I was shy very, very soon. Okay, this is uh. Revelation chapter 22 is said, Behold, I come quickly. Blessed is he that keepeth the sins of the prophecy of this book. Okay. And John, I, John, saw these things and heard them. And when I had heard and seen, I fell down to worship before the feet of the angel and would show me these things. Then he said unto me, See thou do it not, for I am thy fellow servant of thy brethren, the prophets. And of them which keep the sayings of this book, worship the Most High. Final message, Revelation 22 and 10. And he said unto me, Seal not the sayings of the prophecy of this book, for the time is at hand. And we ain't shutting them up. We're telling you. Okay, we, we're decrying the prophecies. We're telling you that that he that leadeth to captivity shall go into captivity. He that killeth with the sword shall be killed with the sword. We're telling you what the Lord says. 
He that is unjust, let him be unjust still. And he which is filthy, Esau, all right, let him be filthy still. You know, two thirds, etc. And he that is righteous, let him be righteous still. And he that is holy, let him be holy still. And behold, I come quickly, and my reward is with me, to give every man according as his work shall be. Call all you like Yahweh by Shimei Al Shai, by Shimei Kodesh, and double honors to our apostles and elders of great millstone. Peace and salutation to the elect. Shalom until next time.